Cape Palliser, located on the southern tip of the North Island of New Zealand. This track is a short but scenic drive through some very rocky terrain. The locals know this track as Stonewall, for these man-made stone structures that were built many years ago. This land used to be used as gardening and these stones were a way to clear the land and also provide a boundary for the gardens. Hey guys, Jamie here from Chili Bin Adventures. Thank you very much for tuning in on this episode. I was lucky enough to tag along with the Chicks Off Road 4x4 group. Um, Jess and the team led this one and uh, yeah, I had a good time. The weather wasn't looking that great heading in on this trip, but you know, the wire upper, Wellington, you just never know what to expect. So we were all keen and we kept moving forward. We had a good range of vehicles on this trip. It was quite interesting actually watching the different vehicles and how they performed on the different challenges. Yeah, that's fine if you want, man. <clears throat> I had my mate Scott with me, who was driving the patrol today. Just means I could focus a little bit more on the videoing side of things. As you can see by my hand, it's still raining pretty heavy out there at the moment. Videoing in the rain is always good fun. Now there are a few sections on this track which you're travelling through narrow rocky terrain. Uh, the main thing to watch out for is not hitting those sharp rocks on the side wall of your tyre. Especially if you're running all terrains or tyres with not a lot of sidewall protection. It doesn't take much to get a rock to puncture the side. One thing I always say on the tracks is stop and take a moment to look around. Sometimes you'll find yourself in the most epic scenery. So we basically found ourselves at a bit of a gorge uh, where the water had been flowing through in the heavy rainfall and uh, it's kind of made it a little bit impassable. 
Uh, so we wanted to find out if there were any tracks further up this gorge uh, that we could get the vehicles through because there was a big shingle slide on the other side of this um, that we wanted to try and get to. So what we did is we sent the drone into the air and um, had a bit of a scout out. So this view here is kind of showing the slip through the middle there where you can sort of see where the track used to go through on the right hand side. Um, the middle bit doesn't look that challenging on camera but um, in person there were some really big rocks and if you got stuck down there you'd be stuck for quite a long time. So as I'm flying this up the gorge I'm just sort of, I don't even know if you can call it a gorge actually but where the water had flown through, I was looking for any signs of vehicle tracks where potential tracks would have been made or potentially clearings in the trees where we might have the opportunity to uh, push through. So just here it kind of looked like there was a track off to the right hand side and uh, a track that was also up there on the left. So we shot it up and um, basically I was just trying to follow the left hand clearing in the trees back. So at the top of the screen you can see the track that goes off to the right, um, or our left when we were on it. It sort of doesn't really link through the trees from above, uh, so potentially the track was covered. So what we did is we took the drone back down, headed in the vehicles. Um, I went up there by myself, just me and Scott. Uh, just in case it was the dead end track, we didn't want to have to turn everyone around. Just here though you can see that there are tracks across the other side. So. I've never been on that side before, I don't know if you can drive in from that side towards this track, but it definitely had some use. Now although it looks like I'm reversing up this hill, I'm actually driving forward, I've just reversed the video. I only got a video of it going down, but that view I just had to show you. So I didn't get a video of the walk through that track. Um, we did find a bit of a bit of a link, but it was only really wide enough for a quad bike ride. Um, so we decided to turn around and swing back down the hill. So we wanted to stop for lunch, and I knew where there was this cool little waterfall. I just parked up, and then all of a sudden, everyone thought I was taking a photo, and ended up packing in. So just as we were about to climb down into the pools, we spotted a little baby seal having a play. It's a long way from home. Oh, there's a couple down there too. Hello little buddy. How are you? Just chilling. After that little stop, it was time to pack up and head down the hill. Go right a little bit. Yeah, and just take it slow. Take it slow, right? Yeah. Just dropping it now. Come to the right a bit. Yep. Just go straight down there. Just take it slow. Just going to drop in now. Left hand down, left hand down. <laughs> So remember at the start of the video how I mentioned about Wellington and Wairarapa weather? Oh 
Um, <clears throat> <laughs> so on the way out, we decided we'd make the climb to the Cape Pillars of Lighthouse. Don't the bottom, make them a <laughs> 252 steps later, we made it to the summit. And as you can tell by Scott's heavy breathing, this was no easy feat. If you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel your support makes a lot of difference and as always thank you for watching